a surprising development. Um, the court, in its wisdom, uh, made an order restraining uh, security agencies from uh, engaging in, in any show of force around the premises of the court and the perimeters of the court. Um, anybody that attended court today would agree with me that the presence of uniformed and well-armed security agencies we are the presence is quite powerful from right outside uh, uh, court premises to inside. So um, the court uh, is not uh, removed from society. So the court must have moved. I mean, re uh, uh, notice what happened. Uh, the judge, the judge, and the, the, the clerk of the court and the registrars, they must have gone through what every lawyer went through coming into court premises today. It wasn't easy for me to drive through. I got through uh, because of the intervention of a senior officer uh, who came and uh, be beheld that I was adorned uh, off and they wanted me to walk at least uh, a mile to the court premises with all the heavy books and files that uh, I was laden with. But the officer came and intervened and said he should allow me to drive through. And I, I believe almost every other person, lawyers, court staff and what have you underwent the same uh, uh, strenuous process and this has become a constant feature each time uh, this matter is to be had in Omaha here. Uh, today uh, the judiciary you know, in uh, their state decided to do something about it. So nobody made any motion. The court on its own motion ordered that security, security agencies should not be uh, seen to be uh, doing show of force on the premises of the court from uh, now on. So that's what we believe to be um, a, surprise, a surprising thing that happened in court today. Okay, uh, um, the court has been adjourned to 10. Yeah, 10 December. Yes. yes. Well, uh, the adjournment is to enable us to adopt our processes and move our substantive application. Uh, today, what happened is what uh, lawyers usually call uh, mention or the pre preliminary hearing. So, the applications from the other side, from the respondents, were taken on extension of time for them to file their defense and uh, those applications uh, have been determined. So uh, the next adjourn date we expect that there won't be any more preliminary issues that would prevent us from reaching the substantive application. Your name again, sir? My name is Aloy Chimako, Special Counsel for Mazin Nambikano. The applicant on my right is Barrister Patrick Agazi, he's my co-counsel and on my left is Barrister Max Ozaka. He is the counsel to Alibo Development Foundation. He is with us today as a friend of the court. Are you optimistic for the justice? For this? Are you optimistic that you will get justice? May I can say something? Yes. I must actually <coughs> comment. Your name, sir? The information is Max Ozaka. I'm the counsel to Alibo Development Foundation. I was really impressed by the disposition of the judge. Particularly his, on his own, making that order that he made because he was quite bold on his part. And considering that disposition, I want to say that I will expect justice from the court. They have demonstrated the boldness and courage which they expected of the judicial officers. Continuing that trend, I believe that justice will only be done for the sin to be done. Yes. Yes. PM, Agazi. is Patrick. Okay. And is in America. Agazi. I am being led by Ebo Aloha Yejinako, special counsel to Mazin Nambekano. Like he informed you, the proceedings of today, we can say we are optimistic that we will get justice. The matter has been adjourned to 10th of December for adoption of addresses and subsequently a date for judgment ought to be fixed thereafter. Like he told you, all preliminary issues surrounding and bordering the entire application emanating from various councils, like people being out of time and uh, challenging the court's jurisdiction, was taken today. And the next adjourned date, all the applications, particularly substantive applications, and hearing 
on objections challenging the requisite jurisdiction of court will be heard on the tenth. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No legal question. No 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 question. I would be hopeful. I want to know who was the common man more than the judiciary. So, when you have an MBU, MBU, in Nigeria, the only place all the judges who sit there just is the judiciary. So, yeah, you have to remember that I'm a pro. I'm a faith in the democratic institutions of this country, of which judiciary is uh, uh, represented on that. So, we are here at the Temple of Justice, and I hope that I get there. Justice for our clients. Only in the man's in my background. On where other judge in here? Like what can I make here? Other only. Um, a one year. See, judge in more that judge in here. Here we never hear any. We talk on only on a say never hear any here. We got on there be police everywhere. So judge, never hear. You have been here me came. We take go me we came with this side video. We go on there be on there me a block or so. We have the police on a fair road. So, God, George, you never order today. Your court, you never order. See, I'm choosing the security agency. Say, man, don't worry, you can't order. No worry, you can't order. No worry, you can't. Oh, oh, so much to make. Yes, so much. Oh, you can't go home and exercise. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay. 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 Okay.